Now we're gonna move to another, we got a guy cub here, one of Clayton's copy cubs also, uh, Paris Lampropolis. Uh, Clayton used to call him my, my brother uh, in, in the copywriting world. He said, you know, so I want to introduce my copywriting brother to you right now, Mr. Paris Lampropolis. Hi, everybody. I, I can't believe it's been over a year since we've seen each other in person. Um, I, it's so great seeing everybody. I'm getting just choked up. Wendy, so great to see you. Everybody else, all my friends, I love you all, and I hope we can all get together again soon. IRL, as they say. I'm going to set my timer here so I don't go over because I could talk for years about Clayton. He started out as a mentor, but then became so much more a friend, a confidant, an older brother to me. My whole career basically consists of just watching what Clayton does and then doing it. So, um, you know, I learned a lot about copy from him, which I'll share uh, a couple of things in a moment. But, um, you know, I watched what he did. He took on copy cubs, so I took on copy cubs. He became more than a writer and became a consultant, so I became a consultant. He did deals with where he would partner with a company, so I did deals where I would partner with a company. And uh, he was there for me anytime I needed to ask him advice. In fact, the last time I ever spoke to him uh, was him giving me advice. So I want to share, I know because there's a lot of copywriters in the room, I want to share uh, one specific copywriting lesson, and then if my timer still has time, I'll share a life lesson. So the copywriting lesson was back in the day, there were these things called Magalogs. And Gary Benzavango, who's here today, uh, was one of the masters of the Magalog. And Clayton says that he learned how to write Magalogs by basically just looking at Gary's copy and reverse engineering it and doing what he did. And I looked at these things and it was so imposing. It was like 10,000 words of copy. There were sidebars, there was this, there. I just, I was totally paralyzed. Like I was like, how do you even begin to do such a thing? And Clayton said, oh, it's really simple. First thing you do is you go through the product. And typically back then we were selling newsletters and, and books and stuff, informational products. He says, you just basically go through and write bullets just like you would for any other thing. You write as many bullets as you can. And then after you're done, you ask yourself, which of these bullets actually have a good payoff? It's not just you being a crazy copywriter coming up with a way to twist it to sound it intriguing. It's like the bullet is intriguing, but then the underlying information is just as good or better than the bullet. Well, when that happens, you write, you reveal it in the promotion. So you maybe turn it into a sidebar, or if it's not a sidebar, it gets woven into the body copy. And then you take the bullet you wrote, and that becomes the headline for that sidebar or the crosshead for that piece of copy. And it also becomes a teaser bullet on the front cover. So now you have multiple entry points uh, for people to get into the copy. And it was just like, duh, you know, like he just took this complicated thing, boiled it down to its essence, made it simple. And I started doing that. And basically, you know, that paid my bills for like 15 years. So that was a great copy lesson from Clayton. Of course, I also learned a lot by um, just when I was actually one of his cubs, I would submit the copy and then Clayton would fix it, send it to the client. And then I'd always look at the final product. I'd look at my copy here, Clayton's <laughs> here side by side. Oh, look what he did. He changed this. That's so clever. Now I get it. Um, so that's a copywriting lesson. Uh, another way that he was, he profoundly impacted me was the, when the first time I ever met him in person, we'd been doing work, you know, remotely. Um, and we, we finally got to meet Clayton in person. We met in Lake Tahoe and he stayed at like, he was in the presidential suite at the hotel. And, you know, he, we, he and Wendy were getting massages and facials and all that kind of stuff. And then he took us all out to dinner. There were about a dozen of us and Clayton picked up the tab. And it was a real eye opener for me because until then I had tried to start my own mail order business and I wasn't good at the, uh, so much of the business side of it, like hiring people in inventory and all these other things that I didn't have a clue about. And here was Clayton making more money than 95% of business people on the planet. And all he was doing was writing for clients. And it just blew my mind that you could do that. 
I mean, I kind of knew it before intellectually because I'd heard stories, but getting to see it in the flesh really made a, uh, a big impact on me and uh, changed the course of my life, really. Um, and I see I have about a minute and a half left, so I'm just going to say one other thing. Kim talked about the way Clayton dimensionalized things. There was no one on the planet who was better at dimensionalizing than Clayton. Uh, I remember he wrote a promotion once, and there was a statistic that like 140,000 people a year die from properly prescribed drugs, right? And most writers would have just written that down in their copy. 140,000 people per year die from properly prescribed drugs. Well, here's what Clayton wrote. His opening to the, to the copy was, if, a, if three jumbo jets crashed every day, you would never set foot on a plane again. Yet that's how many people die every day from properly prescribed prescription drugs. That's a big difference, right? So that's me. I love you all and thank you for having me. Oh, wow. Thank you, Paris. Very powerful. I love what you brought out about how Clayton could boil things down to the essence and then keep it simple. And you're like, duh, like you go, duh. I remember being in a, um, a cocktail party one time and a guy came up to Clayton and said, man, I read your stuff and that's not, it's, it's so easy, I could write it. And Clayton was like, yeah, go ahead. You know, so the power was that it looks so simple that people go, yeah, I can do this, but we know it's not that simple. It's not, you know, it's hard making it look so simple. And he was awesome at doing that. He was a master at that. So that's a lesson that I was so glad to learn from him also. And he shared with many of us. So thank you very much for being here. I really appreciate it, bro. <laughs>